All right, you guys, I have not shown y'all updated renovations that we did at the first ever Headlines location. I think it's time you guys see it. Georgia, I don't know if you can find befores of the shop, but guys, let's, let's go check it out. guys are familiar with this location where the LA Fitness is. There's a Winn-Dixie. The frontage has changed as well. This is uh, the new Headlines logo established in 2012. Let's look inside. Damn. Wow. Look at this. TV up here. What up, what up, what up? See the headlines logo. You guys can see the different teams, the Tampa teams. This is a famous mural here in Tampa. The arenas. Backsplash. Yo, just so you guys know, this is the interior designer. This is the man responsible for designing this barbershop, putting it together, making it as gorgeous as it is. He's more of an interior designer than he is a barber. At this point in my, at this stage of my career, probably, but I can't take all the credit, you know? We did this together. If you want to inquire about possible interior designing of your barbershop, you can go to. Uh, I want to do what I want to do, but I'm trying to keep it professional with it. You go to Headlines or Bust. I will tag them. Designs, home design, home decor. Now. <laughs> what I got in the whip, a big old box and another big old box. Again, all kinds of boxes. So we're doing unboxings today. So these are the three boxes I got for y'all. Uh, we're going to unbox these outside. This one is like. Um, is a shaver so this thing is supposed to only be 80 dollars, 80 bucks so immediately i'm thinking well if this thing's gonna perform for 80 dollars let's see it says wet or dry shaving it says triple shave system waterproof oh i like that that is waterproof lithium ion technology locking function little lcd display if i was a barber i would try to stock up on because it's it's more so i feel like consumer rating rated since it's waterproof but this is something i would stock up on and possibly sell to my clients as an entry level shaver unboxing you guys can see the menu item so it's light you know it feels it feels pretty good it's a little light this always screams consumer i don't know who gonna shave what with this but some people might actually use it. Obviously, as barbers, we, we can never use it. So you guys can see, there's the shaver head. It doesn't have any uh, swivel to it, even though it looks like it does. It does not have swivel. You guys can see it has the cutter in the middle here and the shavers. All right, charges. Looks like it could use a, might be able to use a 245 power clip. I'm about to see if, it, if it'll take the power clip. I'm going to turn it on for y'all. So you got, I think you got to press and hold it. Yeah, now it's on. If you guys can see the LED, you go in the dark. There you the LED. So I'm gonna test them out. So you can lock it by holding it. Let's see the lock. Boom, it's locked now. It's locked now. You can press three, two, one. I like that. That's pretty cool. How it counts down the locking. We're gonna test these out in the shop. Immediately, I'm thinking consumer, but possibly a shop use as well. Really? I'm just gonna take my box away, wind. All right, let's get to it. A lot more in here than I thought. Take a look at what's in here. This is their vacuum, the Pro Shop Vac. It seems like, like GMB's definitely taking on. It's super smart. I mean, nowadays, you know, barbers are definitely moving a lot more to, to being able to do mobile and house calls and stuff, especially the pandemic opened up for this company, I feel like. So this was a, a smart move. GMB Pro with the wireless shop vac. All right, so you got a carry bag. You know, you got a whole bunch of different components in here as well. But imagine you're doing house calls, you pull out the shop vac and everything. That's real, real professional, I feel like. I don't know the prices on these things, guys. Just go to GMB Pro's website. Like some of you guys kill me because there's some questions y'all be asking that's that's easily Googleable. Oh, uh, you didn't list the website name. I don't know where to buy it. Bro, it says GMB Pro. Just Google GMB Pro. You guys kill me sometimes with that. Got a whole bunch of stuff in here. All right, so what is this? This is for, <laughs> this is for your, uh, is this a laptop sleeve? A laptop sleeve. This man is selling laptop sleeves. Because you know, barbers are content creators as well. You got GMB Pro uh, patches here as well yeah the patches are pretty genius i like it oh the led mirror so this is pretty cool it's a led mirror and i see him put it on a tripod for your clients so you can have a mirror during your house calls look and this is the stand for the mirror that's hilarious i was thinking about doing a self-cut with this stand but i don't know if it would work because i would have to see you know oh, look, look at my man's in the background 
Neighbors out here are different. This man is pushing the Segway to push the baby stroller. Bro, these neighbors are different out here. I was, this is cool, but I was thinking, I said hilarious because I was thinking about doing a self-cut with just a stand. This is a really cool mobile station, something I would probably rock with because it's not so big. So one of the reasons why I stopped using big mobile bags is because one of the most annoying things at airports was like, whoa, man, uh, what you got in there? Seems like something important. <laughs> Man, it used to be the most annoying thing. I swear every single flight was like that. But this right here is more my stilo. Because it's 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 subtle. It's not a big gold bag or something like that. So I don't have to worry about annoying TSA. And this will fit in a book bag. This is probably going to be my go-to bag now. So I appreciate that. Such a big box. Bro, this foam right here is $5 by itself. Look at this foam. All right, so we're up unboxing here. Oh, he put a letter in there. Chris, the Max Mobile Station includes a clutch mobile station. I've replaced it with the mini mobile station so you can have the complete set in all sizes. So I bought one of these once while I was in China. Yeah, so the one that I used, I repurposed because it was mostly for um, makeup. This one's purpose is barber. This is where you put the wheels. You can detach and attach the wheels. Let's open this thing. This bad boy up. So I think this is what this is what he was talking about, that it comes with the other bag, but he wanted me to have all of them. So he put this bag in, which is a smaller version of the bag I already have, which is actually clutch. It's actually really, really good. But the book bag version, much smaller than the original, which I actually prefer. For the, you know, the reason I told you guys with the attention, too much attention to the bag. But this one, this one works. Let's look at all this stuff. So in here, this definitely comes off, but folds up, man. There's a lot of space. Like, you should not ever run out of space <laughs> with this bag. This is definitely perfect for those mobile barbers. Not 100% sure what this is for, but it seems like it's just like a pouch that helps you kind of stay organized. Here's the wheels to attach to the bottom. Another organizing pouch, right? Yeah, so you could probably just put these in here, organize it as much as you want. And what is this? Yeah, more organizers, right? So you can put them. Boom, you can put them here and they're magnetic, so they clip wherever you want to put them. Seems like you can organize these pouches however it is you want. I think it's supposed to be, like you could set it up to where it's standing like this and have all your stuff set up, right? Or you could have it laying down. I don't know, you guys tell me. But my lazy, because sometimes I don't buy stuff because I, I don't just think about the stuff that I'm getting. I think about stuff like this. Do I feel like breaking down boxes? Like, have you ever bought anything and it just stays in the box for a week because you don't feel like unboxing it and then throwing everything away? You got a lot of things going on in your life and you prefer to handle those things before you add more things to the pipeline. Let me show you guys some of what I'm talking about. That's a box that's still there. That's a box that's still there. I still need to unbox it. That's a box that's still there. There's another box that's still there. But these boxes have been here for quite a while. My wife is going to kill me for doing this, but I want to keep it real with you guys. When I say quite a while, I don't mean like a long time. I mean like a real long time, like a week. <laughs> it makes me think. There's another one, guys. Hey, but shout out to everybody that sent me some stuff, man. That was really, really nice of you guys. Always appreciate it when people send me um, products, especially the guys at the shop, because they get to try the, the latest and greatest stuff. So if you want to learn more about that stuff, because I'm terrible at, you know, describing things, um, I probably left out a lot of stuff. I definitely would consider going to GMB's website or Stylecraft's website and learning more about the products if you're intrigued about them. All right, so I'm gonna get a little quick workout in. But while I do that, I wanna talk to y'all. I guess the whole unboxing thing made me wanna share this I these ideas with you guys. Let me know what you think. At my age, I, I would consider myself fairly successful in that a lot of the things that I want, I wanted to accomplish throughout my life, I've been able, been able to do. And then I realized it took me a long time to accomplish these things. And part of the reason why is because I thought success that I was looking for was such a big deal. And because it was such a big deal, I put this idea in my head that it was gonna be really hard to reach and it was gonna take time. And I think delayed gratification is a, is a big thing, but I think what's more important is how you think about things. And so like my success, nobody, nobody cares about that besides myself. And what I deem successful has been kind of inspired or influenced in some way, shape or form by my upbringing and the things that have been a social con construct around me. But now that I've reached a lot of these successes, I look back at it all and I think to myself, damn, if I didn't think it was a big deal to reach this level of success, I probably would have reached it a long time ago. It's no different than buying a new pair of clippers 
or buying a new pair of sneakers or buying a new car, using it and it feeling amazing the first week, but then it kind of dies out and then you're looking for the next thing. Like how many times does that need to happen in your life? How many times do you need to experience that in your life for you to finally not make decisions chasing that feeling and realizing there's way bigger, better things to, to do that doesn't require anything besides just doing it, like just doing it, right? One of those things could be traveling more. One of those things could be just doing whatever you want to do. And I would challenge you guys to just do things because you want to do them. No explanation for them required. Doesn't matter what other people think, right? It's just because you want to do it. It's like, bro, like I don't really care about like clothing. I don't have an explanation for it, but like I don't, I don't really get dressed like that, but I do like it. I do like it. I just don't do it because I have this idea of what people that like getting dressed nice and having nice clothes. I have this perception in my head that if I like to dress nice, the world believes dressing nice is supposed to look like, like I'm trying to be something that I'm not, but I gotta stop doing that. Like who cares? Just do it because you wanna do it. You know, to go back to the whole breaking down your boxes, there are certain things that are gonna feel like breaking down the boxes. And so I'm definitely, definitely steering clear from those things. I think that one of the, the best analogies or examples I can give is like, I used to think buying a condo in a sky rise, like, like in downtown or, or by the beach, like why would anybody buy a condo by the beach or on the water? Those things are expensive. Why wouldn't you just buy a house? I'd rather have a house with a yard and a pool and all those things. And I realized maybe not all of them, but some of them, it clicked. It's like, I want those experiences. I don't want the stuff. I want those experiences. I don't want the stuff because I know what comes with it. Bro, I, I, you know, I used to work at Arby's. I was, a, I was a dishwasher, then I was a backline person, then I became a shift manager, then a, then a assistant manager, then a GM. I've been a dishwasher. I've done, I've done construction. Like I've broken down the boxes a very long time where I was still breaking down the boxes. I still had the mentality, the more success that I got. I remember buying the BMW. I remember buying this and buying that and going on vacations and doing this and doing that. And all the boxes I needed to break down kept piling up and piling up. And I realized that, yo, all this success I was getting was actually making me more stressed, more depressed, more, more anxiety. So now, I kind of move a little differently, man. And, and it's, it doesn't make a lot of sense to some people because it seems lazy, it seems stupid. I make a lot of decisions based on how many boxes need to be broken down because of that decision and is the ROI worth it? And so I think that I brought up the nice clothes thing. I used to always buy the cheapest clothes because I was like, I'm not spending my money on that. Not realizing how many boxes I'm creating to break down. Those cheap shirts that you buy are gonna shrink after one wash. You never really throw them out. Like you, they just end up taking up more space in your house until you can't take it anymore. And it's like this weight on you. And like, it seems so stupid, but it starts to add up after a little while. And that extra amount of clothes that you never wear that's just taking up space in your house, it really starts to add up and it really starts to mess with your happiness with the energy in your home all right guys done being weird on my vlog either way i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i'll see you guys in the next video